your why, the reason you keep fighting must be potent. Without a strong why, you'll be knocked down day after day. Everyone dreams of being tough until it's time to show what toughness really means. But I see challenges differently, not as problems, but as opportunities to grow, to excel, to push beyond the boundaries of what I thought was possible. So, who really teaches you how to be a man, a woman, a leader? How do you learn to stand firm, to be resilient? True greatness isn't something that happens just once. It's something you encounter again and again throughout your life. And you'll never truly achieve it if you're not perpetually chasing it, striving for it, living for it. Being great means being true to who you are, embracing your authenticity. And remember, dreams without goals are just that dreams. They lead to frustration and disappointment when they float away, unanchored by the weight of real plans and efforts. Consider the moments when you feel the least motivated to work. Those times when everything in you just wants to relax, to take it easy, but you push through anyway. That effort, that persistence, that's the dream. It's not about arriving somewhere and calling it the finish. No, it's about the journey. It's about pushing your limits every day. Without commitment, you can't even start this journey. More importantly, without consistency, you'll never see it through to the end. You can't merely say you want it. It's not enough to watch an inspirational video and declare, I want it as bad as I need to breathe. That's easy to say, but when the time comes to prove it, when the sun rises and it's time to hunt, will you be ready? Are you prepared to separate yourself from everyone else? Adopting this lifestyle means no more hitting the snooze button. It means if you don't feel like running, you run anyway. If you don't want to swim, you dive in regardless. It means doing the little things making your bed, cleaning your house, studying when you'd rather not. Because these small disciplines build a mindset of resilience. This is how you toughen your mind. This became my life mantra. When life throws situations at you that you can't control, take charge of how you respond. That response is where your true power lies. If you remain in your comfort zone, that's precisely where you will falter. Success is not a comfortable process. If you think the cost of success is too high, consider the price of regret. Not only do I aspire to be strong, but every moment of my 24 hours is also dedicated to doing what the strong do. This isn't about superficial motivation. No fake tales of overcoming imaginary beasts. This is about real struggle, real pain, and real overcoming. It's about growing up in hard places, seeing things that tear at your heart and deciding you want more, much more from life. And if life isn't ready to hand it over, you must be prepared to go out there and seize it. Carry an underdog mentality. Embrace it. Live it. Feel as though everyone has written you off. Told you that you don't have what it takes. That you won't see through what you started. You must claw your way into your future. Fight for your dreams. Pour all you have into this fight because at the end of the day, you have nothing to lose. Life will inevitably strike you hard knock you down. When that happens, you need to make sure your reason for getting back up, for pushing forward, is more powerful than any blow life can land. 
Remember Buster Douglas? He was knocked down by Mike Tyson, one of the hardest hitters in boxing history. Almost everyone counted him out. It was nearly over, but he didn't give up. He fought back because his motivation, his reason or his why, was stronger than any punch Tyson could throw. Your why, the reason you keep fighting must be potent. Without a strong why, you'll be knocked down day after day. Being a true adult, a real person of character, isn't defined by age. It's defined by experiences, by what you've endured, what you fought through. That's the essence of a warrior. That's what carves out the legends from the ordinary. And I promise you, I will spend my days fighting, proving that greatness is earned by those who never quit. As long as there's light on my face, and I'm not six feet under, I see it as a day filled with opportunity. Sometimes, I stare at myself in the mirror and challenge myself, asking, is this all you've got? And every time I push further. Because if there's more life in me, then there's more fight in me. Let's face it, there's more inside you than you've let out so far. You might feel like giving up, especially when the journey gets unbearably tough. But this isn't the time for doubts. This isn't the moment to let go. Keep going. Use your struggles to your advantage. Think of each challenge as a stage, an arena, a chance to prove yourself. When life leaves you feeling dead, rise. Come out fighting, swinging, kicking. Those who doubted you, those who thought you'd never make it, they've underestimated your resilience. Life might hit you hard, leave you feeling battered and bruised, but remember, each setback is a setup for a comeback. I speak to everyone out there in the trenches, whether you're in a hospital bed, grieving a loved one, feeling overlooked or underestimated. It's your time to fight through the pain. If you can feel the pain, you can lift it. You can conquer it. Pain should be seen not just as a hurdle, but as a tool. A catalyst for growth, for strength, for resilience. Imagine if you could harness your pain. Use it as fuel. As a passport to new beginnings. Let pain condition you. Prepare you for the battles ahead. For the rooms you'll enter. The stages you'll grace. What if pain could enhance you? Build your endurance. Increase your speed. Amplify your power. What if all the pain wasn't just to hurt you, but to help you? Because without it, you wouldn't pray as fervently, love as deeply, because you know the sting of hate and choose not to walk that path. So, when pain shows up at your door, when it tries to break you, play it like an instrument. Use it. Let it teach you, strengthen you, propel you. As long as you can feel it, you're not paralyzed. You can move, you can fight back. Life might throw its worst at you, but as long as you can lift it, you can move past it. It's heavy, but it won't block your path for long. Don't complain about the hardships, celebrate them. They're making you stronger. So go ahead, use the pain, keep fighting.